Welcome to Will It Work. I'm Kevin. Uh, today we're looking at the GB Boy color, or color. I've never quite understood why in the English language we have a few words that are spelled with U's, uh, you know, in like uh, Great Britain and stuff, you know, UK English, and then in the United States, like we don't have that U and like color. Um, you know, we're using the same language, folks. Let's all just agree. There's no need to have the U in there, color, it's color, you know what I'm saying? But whatever. I mean, if it's French, whatever, that's a whole different thing, but English is English. So, this is a, uh, a Game Boy Color um, clone, obviously, and uh, I picked it up very cheap. Um, and uh, I don't really have a Game Boy Color clone, so this is the first one I had. And um, what's here? Here it is out of the box. And um, what's uh, it, it's pretty much your standard Game Boy Color with a backlit screen. You got your D-pad, your two buttons, your speaker down here. You do have the ability to um, do some kind of infrared thing up here. I'm not sure what that's about. I can't remember the Game Boy Color all this time. But there's the link cable, volume, power, headphones, and and power adapter. It doesn't come with a power adapter, but these things run on two AA batteries and they work a long time. What's kind of nice about this one is that it, you know, it does have the cartridge port, so you can insert uh, original Game Boy Color games into it and play them, as well as probably original Game Boy games. Uh, I do have some. They're probably in a box, but what's also kind of nice about this unit is it comes with built-in games. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many the box doesn't even like really advertise um, it says you know 56 colors is mixed to 32,000 colors the new style construction and economy power technology support multi-person games more colors for choice new front light screen much more better so that's awesome uh, but let's take a look here GB boy so, we got Contra, Super Mario Land, Bugs Bunny, uh, Parasol, something, Go Go Tank, a Donkey Kong, Aladdin. Let's look at Aladdin. Just blatant theft. It's totally fine. Why not? Now, of course, I do have original Game Boy Color. We've looked at that already. Um, as well as original Game Boy, original Game Boy Advance, which was backwards compatible as I recall or at least am I supposed to jump over those those like tar pits or something but it's your standard uh, you know wasn't particularly a Game Boy wasn't a particularly powerful system from emulation standards or standpoint I should say But, um, yeah. And we'll go back and we'll try something else real quick just to see if something else works. We've got a big thumbprint here on the screen. Hey. <laughs> I want to play the game. i got to shut it off. The power light's still lit up. Alright, there we go. Mario and Yoshi, DuckTales, Pac-Man Side Pocket, Kid Mickey, Yar's Revenge, it's kind of weird, it's like an Atari game, Echo Man, Bubble Ghost, you can kind of figure out what a lot of these are, just by looking at them, not quite sure what Hong Kong is. Asteroids, Tetris, Tic-Tac-Toe. You gotta be really bored if you're putting tic tac toe on. Not sure how many games are on this thing. 
it's not repeating any of them yet. There's Bugs Bunny, so about 66 games that are built in. So that's okay. I mean, you know. Take a look at Load Runner here. Hyper Load Runner. screwed myself already. Oh! What the hell do you do? Oh, I'm dead. Let's try that again. Christ! I'm terrible at load runner. I want to play level 5. Oh my god. So it's like the right button does it right and the left button does it left. It's not like you, not which way you're facing, it's which button you're pushing. Just to make things a bit more confusing. I'm screwed now. How the hell would I get out? Can't. Alright. So anyway, that is the GB color. It's nothing that exciting. But uh, I think these things are like, you know, 15 bucks or something. They're very cheap. Plus some shipping. But very inexpensive. So if you had an old bunch of Game Boy games and you wanted to back click Game Boy, you can go and find guys that have like modified Game Boys to like have a backlit, back, backlit screen and everything but uh, this will um, you know give you the what you want for that kind of a you know situation pretty inexpensively plus you get a bunch of built-in games if you want to go back and play any of those old ones be better if it had like you know RPGs and Pokemon and stuff but beggars can't be choosers you can always put in a multi-cart and uh, away you go thanks for watching see you in the next video